Hey there, everyone. So I'll be reviewing the Orno Dorian action figure by McFarlane Toys. I'll be looking at the quality of the toy, the paint job, the functionality, and the accessories included. Let's get into the video. This is where the intro comes in. Alright, so upon a first inspection, we can see that he actually has a lot of detail. I mean, granted, his outfit is very, um, very nice and somewhat minimal. Very simple. And, oh, I love it. And if we take a look at the back here, we'll see just as much attention to detail on the back as we do the front. Now, let's go into the details. The first thing I'm noticing is... Just the amount of detail in things like the buttons, the colors, and the textures, which are all great. I really like it. They whoever painted this has done a pretty good joint paint job so far. As far as what I'm looking at here, it looks rather good. Upon extreme close inspection, they could have done better. As you can see here, where this button is, you can see that the button part does not line up with the print. Which is disappointing. You can also notice that not all of these are actually bronzish. These are all actually some of these are actually a little too grey. You also see here that there's some brown and white mixed into this piece of the escort. Very disappointing. I added that facial hair there myself because it bothered me that it didn't have enough facial hair. Ignore that. Here, if we inspect now the backside, it looks really good. There are a lot of textural things going on here. The detention to detail here is great. I can see a lot of texture. That buckle looks amazing. There's some really good stuff going on here with Arno. Overall, I think that he is in an astounding toy. Now, upon inspection with his weapons, you only really got three here, which is really all you need. Especially for the French Medieval War. L looking at his pistol here, it looks okay. The detail is nice, but the paint job... Oof. Bugger. But the paint job isn't as nice or as forgiving. And if you look here, you'll see... But there are some weird spots and things going on with the paint. But nonetheless, maybe it's supposed to look rustic, who knows? Upon inspection with the saber, it looks rather nice. I wish there was more color and tonality to it. I wish that this was a silver and this was either a gold or a type of wood. But no, it looks like it's always made out of the exact same thing. Overall, the print looks good. I like the small details here. A very simple sword. A very beautiful sword, nonetheless. And here we have the Phantom Blade, which actually surprisingly has a crap ton of detail. I'm surprised. You can see all the little mechanisms and you can even see the little assassin symbol just right there ain't that amazing I'm impressed this is so neat notice you can't see the hidden blade because back here it is not nearly as well done but overall I think they did a good job because obviously when you pose him he's going to be sh showing off this blade so giving this part attention to detail was very important now, as far as all knows, uh, functionality goes, I think it's rather nice. And I found, I found a good spot for him to put his sword in. It seems like a rather reasonable spot. It's down here where you would essentially hang the swords. It slides in just fine. It fits pretty well and shows it off a little bit. You just tuck the rest of it back there and it looks really good. You then have a holster piece for his eight shot revolver. Which is amazing. Or I guess it's a flintlock revolver. I'm not too sure. I haven't studied much into this at all. But overall, I think his functionality is rather good. He's got lots of good joints. And they all seem to move exceptionally. Nothing is broken. And everything looks fine. He's, his arms aren't bulky and awkward like Connor's. It's just great. Look at how happy he is. I also love this little chain piece on his necklace here in the belt. Oh, so much detail. And he looks so good. Anyway, this has been my inspection 
and review on the Arnold Organ action figure by McFarlane Toys. Very impressed and very proud. He makes a great figure to my collection. Here's my collection. Very nice. Indeed. Hey, uh... Atham has been forsaken.